Hi everyone, Nina here. Thanks for joining me. I hope you all had a spooky, spooky fun Halloween. Today we are going to be creating an art journal for the holiday season. I'm going to show you how I created the first page. To create the blank pages, I did cut watercolor papers uh, to six by four and a half. And I, then I did punch them with the Happy Planner punch. It's amazing. You will find it linked down below. It's the best punch for this, for the disc mount uh, system. Then I am going to create a background panel. And I just cut it with my hand to give this worn out uh, look on the outside. Then I did use blue district, distress ink shades to blend the background. I wasn't really blending it, them very well. I was leaving them unblended like this. And then I did smooch all these colors on my glass mat and sprayed them with water. And then I would take some of the color with my paintbrush and splash to give this more visual, tex visual texture interest to the background. Then I'm going to come with my um, vintage photo um, distress ink and then I'm going to ink all around the background to give it a worn outlook and then I'm using this planner essential dies you will find it linked down below with all the materials that I'm going to use today and I'm going to cut these trees using this die twice and then I did stick them to each other with my Novo glue uh, so it would make it more dimensional and sturdy. Then I'm going to use my Novo glue again and I'm going to directly attach my background panel to the art journal page. I didn't want to work directly on the uh, watercolor paper. I thought I will add this, it will give more fun and depth to my page. Then I'm going to come with this uh, Christmas truck set and I'm going to use the snowman to complete my winter scene. I am going to use my mini misty and memento tuxedo black ink and then I'm going to place the stamp inside my misty and then i'm going to stamp it a couple times mini misty will uh, help me stamp it twice in the same place so i have this crisp image then i'm going to come with my copic shades and i'm going to color it's very simple there is no much coloring because the snowman itself is going to uh, be white with just a little shade of pg10 head to my blog i leave it linked down below so you can see all the shades I use for the Copics. Then I'm going to come with my uh, scissors and cut all around the snowman, leaving this white border all around. I am going to take my time and finish it because I want to leave this white border. I love leaving this white border around my images. I'm then going to use the same PG-10 that I use for the snowman to shade the snowman and I'm going to shade these two snow hill sides that I also cut with my hand and I'm going to place them on different heights to give a snow hill dimension. Then I'm going to bring my double sided foam tape and I'm going to place it behind both of them. Just I'm just starting with the first one uh, because for the second one I am going to stamp the sentiment first before I attach it to the background. So here I'm just putting them together so I can figure out where exactly I want the back hill side to be. And then making sure that it is in the correct place. And then I'm just going to uh, press over there and cut the hanging edges. Then I'm going to use this Christmas sentiments stamp set. And I'm, I'm, I chose the word let it snow that matches with the snowman. And then I did stamp it using my Misty and uh, Blue Archival ink. This is Mermaid Lagoon. And then I did put double-sided foam tape, two layers, and attach the top snow hillside. Then I'm going to place my snowman between both the, the layers. I leveled the snowman with some foam tape and some... And on, uh, for his bottom, I did add the um, only uh, Nuvo glue. Then now I know exactly where to place my trees. I didn't want to place them before I placed the hill sides. Now I know where I want to place them exactly. So then I'm going to finally glue them where I want them to be. Then I'm going to bring my very light blue shades and also white uh, enamel dot collection 
and I'm going to place some enamel dots here and there just to decorate my card and show and show as if it's snowing I don't want to place the white enamel dots on the white hillsides on the snowy hillsides so they will give a contrast Look how cute everything is. Very beautiful. Look at the dimension and the foam tape behind and the worn out look on the background. Then I'm just going to slowly and carefully place the, um, uh, my first page back into the art journal. And here is my first page. I thought I finished over here, but then after a while, I thought that I'm going to add uh, the same vintage photo ink, the edges all around, so it would match my background in the middle. Look at the dimension and the enamel dots, all the fun texture on the background, all came out so cute. I love it so much. I had so much fun creating this first page with you guys today. Stay tuned for the rest of the pages. I'm planning to keep this series going on until Christmas time. Hit the subscribe button and also don't forget the bell so you can get notified whenever I post a new video. I have a lot of art journal pages coming up also from Art by Merlene. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you had fun. Thank you and I will see you all next time. Bye!